Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll go through step five of the SAP UI5 documentation walkthrough series. Step five talks about controllers. In the last step, we, we understood what are XML views and how useful they are in implementing SAP UI5 applications. Now coming to controllers, controllers are JavaScript files in SAP UI5 application, which holds the processing logic for the UI application. As we know that XML views hold the controls which are used in the SAP UI5 application. Controller files are corresponding to XML views and these controller files implement any processing logic which is needed for the XML view. And it also implements handler functions to handle any of the events which are getting triggered by the controls in the XML views. In this step, we will replace the hello world text with a button on the screen. And when the user presses this button, a hello world message will be displayed to the user. This handling of the button press event is implemented in the controller of this view. Again, you can download the code from this particular link. Let us check the code changes which are needed for this step. We can see in the app.view.xml file, we have a new attribute controller name, which basically holds the corresponding controller file name for this view. Also, we have replaced the text control from the SAP M library with the button control. In the text of the button, we are passing say hello text. And for the press event for this button, control, we are triggering dot on show hello event handler function. This on show hello event handler function is what will be implemented in the con corresponding controller file. One thing to note here is that a view does not necessarily needs a controller every time. You do not have to create a controller if the view is just displaying information and no additional functionality is required. If a controller is specified, it is instantiated after the view is loaded. Only in cases when we need some processing logic for the view, we should have a corresponding controller for our views. And it is important to provide the controller name in this attribute of the XML view. Now coming to the controller file, controller files are always created inside the controller folder of our web app folder and the naming convention of our controller files are something like this app.controller.js and the corresponding view name is app.view.xml. If we check the logic of this controller file, we pass the controller object from the SAP UI core MVC library in the callback function and we extend the controller object and pass our controller name. Here we have implemented the on show hello function, which is basically an event handler for our button control. Inside this on show hello function, we are creating an alert with hello world text. What this will do is when the user presses the button on the screen, it will trigger this event. It will trigger this event handler function on show hello. And this function is implemented in the corresponding controller file from where we'll see this alert with a message, hello world. Let us run this application and see the code in action. Before running the application locally, we need to make some changes to our UI5.yml file, which I've already done. We also need to have a manifest.json file in our application. Then we can run npm install command. And after that, we can run UI5 serve command. Once the web server has started at the local host, we can go to the index.html file.
and we see here the button with text say hello. When we click on this button, we see the alert hello world. And this alert is coming from the on show hello handler function. This is a basic overview of what controllers do in SAP UI5 applications and how do they serve the purpose by implementing the processing logic for our UI applications. Now we'll just go through some of the conventions which have been defined in the documentation. Again, controller names are capitalized just like view names. Controller names should also start with a capital letter. Controllers carry the same name as the related view. This is a one-on-one -on -one relationship. We can see our view name is app.view.xml. So the corresponding controller name is app.controller.js. Event handlers are prefixed with on. This is another convention which we should use in our applications. Here we have defined an event, event handler for the press event for our button control. This event handler should start with on. This is another naming convention we should follow. Controller names always end with .controller.js, which we can see here in the name of our controller file. So this is all about uh, controllers to get an overview of what controllers are in step five of this walkthrough series. In the next step, we'll learn about modules in SAP UI5 applications. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.